Normally, the pattern standard deviation should be less than 4 in the normal field. Now, this is a small exercise. Just when you see these two numbers, the mean deviation and the pattern standard deviation, what impression would you get? I've told you that the mean deviation gives us impression on the height, and the pattern standard deviation gives us impression on the shape of the field. So this is the first line. You get a normal mean deviation and a normal pattern standard deviation. Then we are expecting to have a normal field. The shape of the field is regular, and it is very high like the normal values. Now, two, if you have the mean deviation abnormal, low, while the pattern standard deviation is normal, it means that the whole field is depressed homogeneously. It's a pure generalized depression of the field, like you see up in this drawing. Possibility three, mean deviation is normal, while the pattern standard deviation is abnormal. It means that the whole field is high, but just one location is depressed. This one location will, will be shown in the standard deviation, but it will not affect the mean because it's one point in 70 or in 50. So it means a localized affection in one area. Finally, both are abnormal. The mean deviation is abnormal and the pattern standard deviation is abnormal. It means that the whole field is depressed and areas is much depressed than others. So just seeing these two numbers, you can get this in your mind. Then we come to what's known as the glaucoma hemifield test. Just it's a line written, glaucoma hemifield test is normal, it's borderline, and so on. The glaucoma hemifield test depends on that in glaucoma, if you compare the sensitivity between the upper and the lower halves, normally it should be identical. In glaucoma, sensitivity may be decreased in one half compared to the second half. So the divide the upper and lower areas into zones to compare, say zone one up compared with zone one down, zone two up compared with zone two, zone three with three, and so on. You get identical areas up and down and start to compare the values up with those down. Then you get one of these things. Glaucoma hemifield test outside normal, borderline, generalized reduction in sensitivity, abnormal high sensitivity within normal. Actually, keep in mind, this is, does not depend on if the patient glaucomas or not. It is it's just numericals, numbers, and the program is comparing upper zone with lower zone. Because some of you will say, okay, glaucoma hemifield test abnormal, this patient is glaucomas. Maybe he gets some lesion in the retina up, not present down. Then comparing up and down, you can get this title, glaucoma hemifield test outside normal range. So we come to, is it the test normal or abnormal? Then we come to the next point, which is if the effective pattern goes with any particular disease.